Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'd like to show you how I made this really simple yet effective screwdriver rack for my workshop just out of some scrap plywood. So I started off with a little sketch and this is made to measure for my workshop a little bit of wall space that I've got and I'm going to use this piece of 18mm scrap plywood to make it. So I needed to get a straight edge first of all so I'm using a straight edge here and marking up um, so that I can then cut the width of the section and for that I'm using a mini circular saw so once I had a straight edge I could then mark up and the width of this is going to be 12 centimeters I'm going to use this for the back and the front two pieces so now just using my guide on the mini circular saw, I can cut out that 12 centimeter width. And this one long piece will give me the two sections that I need. Now I could start marking up. So the first piece is the back piece and that's 39 centimeters. As I say, that's to fit into a space in my workshop. You could make a longer one if you wanted to. And then the front's going to be slightly smaller at 36 centimeters. I could then cut those pieces out on the mitre saw. So now I want to mark up where the holes are going to go. So I'm using the thickness of the ruler to start off with to draw a line. And this line is going to be where the bigger holes will be. So I'm giving a gap of two centimeters on either side. And then I'm going to work my way in and I'm going to go four centimeters between each point. And that should give space for the larger screwdrivers. Then for the second line, that's going to be four centimeters from the first line. And again, two centimeters from the edge. And then this time I'm gonna work three centimeters between each mark as the screwdrivers get smaller towards the front. And for the last line, this will be for very small things. That's going to be 3.5 centimeters from the previous line. Again, working in from two centimeters and then three centimeter intervals. So that was the marking ready to drill out the holes. Now I just need to work on the back piece. I'm using the ruler here just to make two points and this is where I'm gonna drill holes to attach the screwdriver rack to the wall. Now I need to find a center point on this piece because the front piece is gonna attach centrally. So I'm marking up that line. Then using that line as a guide, I can draw around the front piece. And then I can make some marks to drill some pilot holes for later on. So then I took a round over bit in the, uh, the trim router and I went around all the edges, smoothing them off the, the back of the back section I didn't round off I left that square and this will just make it look nicer and prevent it from chipping now 
Now I could drill out those pilot holes on the back part. And the holes to attach it to the wall. So to drill all the holes for the screwdrivers, I'm going to be using the drill press, starting off with um, the largest holes, which are 10 centimeters in diameter. It's much easier if you have a drill press um, to make so many holes, but you could also use a hand drill for this. Then the, uh, the middle row is going to be eight centimeters in diameter. And the front row is going to be six. So then I went over every hole and countersunk the holes and that will help them um, to not chip and it will make it easier for the screwdrivers to go in. Then I gave everything a sanding down just to make it nice and smooth. So now to connect the two pieces together, I'm going to use plenty of glue. And then I'm going to add three screws through the back. And I can use those lines to help me to get everything nice and straight. I used some clamps just to hold everything together so that I could drive in the screws. Then I took a damp cloth and removed any excess glue squeeze out. Then I decided to paint it. I've gone with um, a dark grey which matches the theme in my workshop as this is scrap wood so it does look better I think when it's painted. And then I used a smaller brush to go into all the holes. Now it's ready to get onto the wall. All I needed to do was drill a couple of pilot holes and introduce the first screw. Then I could use a spirit level to get everything level and drill for the second screw. Then I could add the screwdrivers.
So that's it for this video. I hope you like the video. I'm pleased with this screwdriver rack. I didn't realise how useful they are. Once you've got all your screwdrivers there, um, it makes everything really easy to just pick one out and put it away again. And there's room for extra ones as well. So um, that is it for my screwdriver organisation from now on. So if you'd like to make one yourself, why not? Um, it's only a bit of scrap wood and uh, it's really simple to make. So if you did find this video useful, please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.